All right, let's uh, create our uh, loan cell. So I'm going to select my loan view, Command N, and we need a new Swift UI view. Next, I'm going to call this loan cell view. Right, and uh, yeah, let's close the left panel, click on resume, we will have hello world here, printed out. So what we need to do in order to build our UI, let's look at our cell, what we have here. We have three text areas basically, but in order for us to put everything together, um, we're going to use uh, H stacks and V stacks. So if we look at it, um, we can see that we have one horizontal stack, one big horizontal stack here, which includes a vertical stack of these two items and the text. All right, so let's create that instead of our text here. I'm going to say H stack, and our H stack will have a V stack. And let's put this text here actually twice. All right, and outside of our V stack, we put another text. So let's click on our resume to see what we have. You can see it's uh, the design is very close to ours. It's a little bit touching everything, each other. So we are going to fix this. And also everything is in the middle of our view. We don't, we don't want that to happen. So in our v, v stack here, we can put an alignment and put some spacing so these things are not touching each other, the two items in our V stack. So let's initialize it with, and when you create a brace here to initialize it, Xcode gives you some options. We have alignment, spacing, and content. Uh, you can uh, click enter and it will auto fill, but usually this creates more problems than uh, it helps because our content is already here and we have to delete. And uh, sometimes you miss a curly brace or a brace somewhere. So it's easier to actually type everything if you want to. For the alignment, if you put a dot, it will give you all the options that you have, like center, trilling, and leading. In our case, we need our leading because we want it to be on the left. And spacing, you can put something like, let's try five, for example. And you can see that there is some extra space here in between. So I can try to put, for example, 20, and you will see that the space is actually really big now. I'm going to use five here. You can use whatever the number you want, whatever makes your eye uh, easier to look at it. But uh, yeah, this is what I'm going to use. And um, now in our horizontal stack, which is everything together, if I select, you can see that uh, it marks with a black square what I have selected. Or if I select the text only, which is in our V stack, it marks the V stack. I can select this text here. So uh, what we want to do is push this uh, V stack uh, and we have two labels, uh, two text and this text apart from each other. So one is on the right side of our screen and the other one, other two is on the left side. And uh, what we can do is use spacer. And when we initialize spacer in our H stack, so our H stack has two views inside. It's a V stack and it's a text. When we put a uh, spacer in between, it's like a big spring. It comes in between the two views and pushes each view maximum on each side. So now we have all these two views pushed one on the left, the other one is on the right. Okay, so in order for us to make our loan cell dynamic, because we are not going to type for each loan we create, we're not going to come here and add this uh, name and the amount and due date manually. What we're going to do is to pass some variables to our loan cell. Um, var name is a string. Actually, I think we can even use let because we are not going to edit them. Let amount is a double and let date 
is a date. So we will pass three variables here that we want to populate our three views here. Okay, so the first one is going to be instead of hello world, let's put our name here. The second one is going to be our amount. But our amount is a double and we cannot just put text in our double in our text because this expects a text. And the third one is actually a date and we want to put it here. So I'm going to put a date and this will also complain. And the first complaint we are going to handle is our preview because we put it some in uh, variables here and our preview is saying listen uh, there are some variables and I don't know how what to show in my preview now. So let's help Xcode and fix our problem here. So we are going to give some default names. Let's give it a test name amount I'm going to put just 100 or 1000 whatever you want date I can just initialize a date now this error will go away you can click on resume and we should be able to see something here or I guess we have to fix these errors first so let's take care of the these two problems here that we have and uh, we need some way to convert our date into a um, string and our double into string what we can do is to use string interpolation here and this would fix our problem but uh, there is another issue with this system let me just uh, put it and if we click on resume you will see what the problem is our double which is 1000 has I don't know six seven zeros at the end because it's not properly formatted and our date is so long that uh, we don't want to really see all this information so what we want to do is make them format nicely in order to do that we can create some um, extensions to our uh, date item and to our double so let's start from the date. I'm going to create a new file. You can keep it Swift UI view or you can choose a Swift view. It doesn't really matter. We will write what we need inside. So let's call this date extension. Oops, I call it date equals extension. Let's put a plus there. And uh, we don't really need this actually. Just get rid of it and also Swift UI, we don't need it as well. I just need to rename this properly. And let's create an extension to a date. And uh, we are going to have actually import foundation. So we can access our date and uh, now we are going to create two variables here so our uh, two extra things that our date by default doesn't have the first one is day number of year and this is going to return an integer it's an optional and the second one is var long date and this is going to be a string all right so um, the first one is going to be used in order to sort our date later so we are not going to use it straight away but we are going to write it now so I'm going to say return and we're going to use our calendar access the current calendar and get a date components and um, we want to use the set with from to end not this one I think it's this one or no 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 no, no. date components in from this is the one yes so um, 
here we are going to actually get rid of this and we're going to pass the component which is year and we want from it should be date so we just say self and we want to get a year so basically we want to separate uh, the, the digit of the year of each uh, each date object because you see what our uh, where is our view if I resume here you can see what our uh, date looks like so we want to just get the year number out of it of uh, out of our date because we want to sort our uh, payments by year and uh, each year will be grouped yeah, separately so this is why we need to know the number of the year and for the long date we just can uh, create a date formatter which is a type of date formatter we initialize it and then we give it a format and uh, I'm going to set this to be day month year you can get this uh, different date format options uh, if you just search Google and it will give like uh, four wise is the full day year like 2021 for now three capital M is the short name of the month or I think it's a full name we'll see now and double D is the day with two digits so if it's first it will be zero one so uh, we are going to return a string here so we can say date formatter string from and we say self because we are creating extension on date so we're going to whatever the date is we're going to do that command p make sure that we have no errors and uh, let's create another uh, extension let's select swift file this time because it has less things to delete and this is going to be extension on table so the foundation is imported for us and uh, here we're going to have only uh, one thing so let's say extension double and we say var to currency and this will return a string so what we want to do is when we have a double number we want to convert it to a currency and the advantage we have with the currency is first of all we get the system currency so if you have a euro in your uh, phone it will show euro if you have usd it will show usd or you have yuan or whatever the currency is on your device it will get the device currency and put in front of the um, uh, number uh, so you can see the dollar comes from there it's a system currency and uh, then uh, we can say how many um, digits we want after the decimal point if there are if it's zero we don't want to see like 100,000.00 because uh, there is no point of seeing these zeros uh, unless there is a real number there so let's create a number formatter so we say let currency formatter is equals to number formatter and we can say currency formatter that uses grouping separator equals true and this is the part here that it puts a comma after let's say 100,000 if we don't put this it will be just 100,000 110,000 without this comma there um, then we say uh, currency formatter dot maximum fraction digits is equals zero because we don't want to have extra zeros at the end as I said before and then currency formatter dot number style is equals to currency we want to put that and uh, finally we want to get the the type of our currency etc so we are going to say currency formatter dot local is equals to our local and we get the current settings of our uh, system 
and finally we need to return a string so we need to convert all these things uh, the table into string using our uh, currency formatter so let's say let price string is equals to currency formatter string from and we are going to uh, pass a double going to pass double here we need to pass an ns number as you can see here it expects an ns number so we can create an ns number with a value and uh, there is an option value double and we can pass self whatever our value is and we need to uh, force unwrap this because there is nothing uh, that can go wrong here we are just using all ios things here so we can safely unwrap that and finally we say return our price string because here we promise that this is a string so once we return this we can say command p and our error should go away so these are the two uh, extensions that we have created so let's go to our loan cell uh, view and use our extensions instead so we don't want to use our string interpolation there and instead we just say uh, date here and I want to use the long date which returns a string and for our amount I'm going to use amount and we just say to currency so this will convert it to currency now let's try the look of it now you can see that uh, it has changed our amount to $1,000 as you can see it's here 1000 and this is how our long date looks so it's 09 june 2021 all right so we have this view ready and in our next lecture we are going to use it actually to replace our text here